Hello Hunters, the Sheep Killer here, and welcome back to Pokemon Glaze. Last time, we went to Mount Silver, captured Heatran, battled Red, and then we went back to the Embedded Tower with the Ruby in hand and captured Groudon, and then we captured the Swords of Justice Trio. So we did quite a lot last time, and this time, we're gonna finally take on the Rancor Champion. Because we've defeated all four gyms in the Rancor region, so we are now allowed to take on the Champion here on Rain Isle. So here we are. Hello, welcome to Soul Stadium. Unfortunately, wait, I recognize you now. You must be Curtis. Soul told me to move you to the top of the list if you come to challenge him. Would you like to battle Soul now? A lot of people go to battle him, but he's letting us battle him right away because of how awesome we are. See, even he knows how awesome we are, so that's that's just how good we are. Here we go. I guess there's no Elite Four or anything. We're just going to straight to battle Soul. Hello and welcome to Soul Stadium. Now entering the stage is a first-time challenger to Soul, Curtis. Curtis has already gained fame as the champion of both Chunod and Johto, but will he be able to unseat Soul as well? We'll just have to wait and see. Speaking of Soul, Soul enters the stage with an impressive pedigree of wins under his belt. Soul became the champion of the Sinnoh region with his partner Empoleon. How will he fare against Curtis? So he's the champion of two regions as well. So double champion versus double champion. This definitely will be tough. Stay frosty, folks. The match is about to begin. Huh. So you came at last. I came to Rancor with a desire to find strong trainers such as myself. Few have come close, but eh. Anyway, enough chat. Time to battle. Here he is. Champion Soul would like to battle. Now we're battling the Rancor Champion Soul, starting with Heracross here, level 90. I don't know what we're gonna do against this thing. I might just switch to Houdini. Oh, there's the Sword Stance. We got speed, so we don't gotta worry about him throwing rocks at us or anything. Now I just gotta hope we one shot. And we do. Heracross didn't stand a chance against Houdini. He got one shot. We got Glide Score up next. I know just who to use for that. Watera would be perfect for this one. There's the Earthquake from Glide Score. I don't think it'll even do half. Yeah, it doesn't even do half. Watera is just a beast. And now we're gonna one shot with Ice Punch. Oh no, nope, we don't one shot. I guess this guy scores really tanky. To be honest, I would have been disappointed if I got a second one shot in a row anyway. But now we're gonna finish it off here with this Ice Punch. This will sure this will surely kill because it's in range. And there we go. Guy score is taken down. There's the Roserade, level 90. This definitely won't one shot, even though Roshan is pretty powerful. And only five levels behind actually, but yeah, this is Shot. Yeah, he got pretty close, but not quite there. And hey, we dodged the Leech Seed. That's awesome. I didn't think we'd get that close to a one-shot, but we did. I guess Roserade's not really the tankiest Pokemon. We only get one shot because it's Flame Wheel. Can we finish it off now? Nope, he's got another full store. Alright, this time we'll certainly take him down. There's no way he can survive this one. Yeah, get out of here, Roserade. And next is the Empoleon of his. It's shiny. Makes sense that this guy would have a shiny too. But yeah, level 92 shiny Empoleon. And it doesn't take a one-shot either. That's and this has Ice Beam. Maybe Houdini can finish it off? Nope, he's got another full restore. I mean, it's true that you can't be champion with him, not gonna spam full restores, but come on, man. And yeah, he took down Houdini as well. Thunderbolt. Will this kill? Hopefully it does. I don't want to deal with this thing anymore. Nope, it doesn't kill. And he's got Scald. And <laughs> it left us with a burn too. Fantastic. Oh, maybe so you got another full restore? No, you don't. Finally, we took this Empoleon down. He took down two Pokemon and got Loxus on low health and burned. That was definitely a strong Pokemon. Next is Houndoom. Good thing I didn't lose Watera against that Empoleon, because we, we really need him for this Houndoom. Okay, Earthquake. Can we one-shot? Yeah, we one-shot. Good job, Watera. Now we're on his last Pokemon here already, Sableye. But it's going by a lot more smoothly than I thought it would. I thought we'd be struggling quite a bit. But the only thing that really gave us trouble was this Empoleon. I think that's been pretty easy, especially the, the few one-shots we've got. Earthquake. Let's see how much damage we'll do against this. And we finish it off. Good job, Watera. And Sableye is down, and just like that, Champion Soul was defeated. There are skill trainers in Rancor after all. Hmm. The winner is Curtis. I continue to insist with the showy stuff, but you've got talent. You put time and effort into raising your team, and it's gotten you this far. You've won the title of a Rancor champion. Champion of three regions. That must be a first. Thanks for letting me hone my skills against you. Our next battle won't be the same as this one. Be ready. Watch the credits. Oh, I could choose to watch the credits, I'm not gonna. So now Champion Soul was defeated, but we haven't been recording for that long, so what are we gonna do now? There are some legendaries I can go after now that Soul's been defeated, so I guess I can go after them next. And now we got some Ultra Balls, and we're here on Alpha Isle, where the three legendaries we're gonna get today are. We gotta head back to the Peaks of Alpha, and I'll meet you guys at the top where these legendaries lie, and wait for us. And now I'm here at the top of the Peaks of Alpha, and now we're gonna get three more legendaries. And if you guys remember, back when I originally went here, I typed in something on an ancient keyboard, and it activated something. Well, what it activates is... The ability to do this. There are thin engravings in the stone. Acumen, Virtut, and Veritatum. Press your hand against one of the words. And we're just gonna do all three of them. And... Jigglypuff. Huh? 
and we get teleported to a realm that has Yuxi, a swirling vortex. This is how the world began. And through the mist, Arceus came. From where or when, I do not know. With powers untold, he began to craft. And now we are battling Yuxi at level 75. And now we got this guy plenty weakened, so let's start throwing some old balls until we finally catch it. Holding down B. Let's hold down both Bs this time. Double the offer. Okay, gotta hold down A instead. Double the offer yet again, holding down both A's. Okay, if you believe in a Pico, stay in the Ultra Ball. If you believe in the Lord Helix, stay in the ball. If you believe in the Arceus, stay in the ball. You surely do if you were just talking about him. Nope, but apparently you don't believe in Arceus even though you're talking about how he created the world. Okay, it seems legit. I've done enough today already. Can you just stay in the ball and make this go by quicker? If you're using Amnesia, then surely you're gonna forget that you want to stay out of the ball, right? And I finally caught it. Jeez, that took longer than it should have. I had to load back like five times. Well, we finally caught UC. Not gonna get his Pokedex entry, I guess. And now I'm gonna press my hand against the Virtue, the Virtue word, and we get taken to Azelf. I guess we're not going to mess for it right now. The glowing blue and green orb of the Earth. The vastness of such a world was unprecedented, and thus, Arceus created life. And now we're battling Azelf. Oh, good, it knows explosion. That's gonna be so much fun. Oh, how am I gonna stop this crud? Can you stop exploding? Oh my gosh, there we go again. Just don't explode, please. Oh. How many times it's exploded now? Just get parahax or something. Gosh dang it. Not master balling you, no matter how badly you want me to. Finally, got the parahax. We got it weekend, so now I'm gonna start throwing some ultra balls at it. Here we go. Tried number one. Second try, holding down B and the other B. Third time's the charm, holding down both A's and both B's. Azelf, do you by any chance believe in the Pico? If you do stay in the ball. Da, da, da. Da, da. Do you believe in the Lord Helix? Stay in the ball if you do, please. I'd appreciate it. And there's an the explosion again. Apparently he hates Lord Helix so much he decided to explode just to off himself quickly. This has got to work eventually, right? And there's the explosion again. Finally managed to catch it. That was ridiculous. You thought a Pokemon constantly healing itself was frustrating. But when you got one that's constantly killing itself, it's even worse. The exploding as elf was finally captured. No, I no longer have to deal with this stupid thing. An egg, as large and wide as the eye could see. The egg began to shake, then crack. And merging from the egg was? Oh, what was it? I want to know. Don't leave me on a cliffhanger like that. Gosh dang it, Mesprit. Well, now I gotta catch this thing. And now we got Mesprit weakened, so let's start throwing some Ultra Balls. Holding down B right from the start. I do this every time now. What would happen if I held down A right now? Not the VBA A, but the actual A. Now stay hydrated while throwing these Ultra Balls at you. Do you believe in the Pico? If you do, stay in the ball. I believe in the Pico. A lot. Got a few more. I don't even need any more Ultra Balls after Mesprit, because this is the last Ultra Day I'm catching with an Ultra Ball. I actually managed to catch it not that much longer after I paused the recording, but here we are. Mesprit was captured. And we are now done with every single Legendary apart from one. You caught every Legendary you could possibly get in this version of the game, excluding two. And one of them I'm not able to get because my game is glitched. That one's Latios. The time function doesn't work, and normally I'd have to wait a day after Latios to get Latios, but the time function does not work, so I can't get Latios ever, and the other one is the one that you need all the legendaries except for the Eon Duo to be able to get. And that is what we're going to be getting next time. We just about run out of time for this episode of Pokemon Glazed, and next time is going to be the finale of the series, where we are going to catch our final legendary. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode, where we'll do all that stuff. And thank you guys for watching this episode, I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy hunting!